Hello and welcome to another player review, this time on Yannick Volasi from Sporting Lisbon. Um, I went and did this card uh, almost straight away. It's another left winger today, so two on two of the wingers, but uh, it looks like a very nice card as well. Excellent card. And I can also play him easily in the team where I can just put him in in place of Nakajima that I've done from the Liga NOS SPC. Um, this one looks like a better card than Nakajima, so let's go and have a look at his stats. All right, so here he is. He fits straight in the team, almost like uh, the team that I was uh, using like uh, last week as well, before I made all the switches with fitness cards. Uh, so we have him in place instead of uh, Nakajima. Um, but if we just do a very quick comparison on the face stats, we'll see that Nakajima just has one stat more on pace and a little bit more on defense, but the rest, uh, Balassi seems to have the edge. So let's go into the card and have a look at his stats. So this is a 188, so this is a really tall guy. It's so like 6'1", 6'2". Uh, medium low, uh, which is not a very good uh, work rate for an attacker to have. But he has a 4-star weak foot and a 5-star skill moves, so which is a nice upgrade from Nakajima there, which is a 4-star, four 4-star. Four now let's go into further details. His pace is acceleration on 88 and his sprint speed on 94. I don't really like players that have a big differential in acceleration with sprint speed, um, but we'll see. We probably don't need to um, improve this stat anyways because it's high enough. His shooting is very nice. His attack position is 86. His finishing only needs some work with 80. His shot power is uh, 97 and his long shots is 82. Uh, his passing is very good, nothing to improve really there. His short pass, his crossing, his vision, and his curve, along with his long pass, are, are very good there. Their stats don't need anything there, really, for an attacking player. Uh, his agility, uh, 82, his balance, 75, his reaction is 81, ball control, 90, dribbling, 90, composure, 83. So here we might need something to improve, like the first three stats a bit. Agility, balance, reactions, although they're good, uh, we might want to boost them a bit more. And this is where he has the edge over, let's say, Nakajima that I was using. He has 94 jumping, 73 stamina. Should be all right, I think, for 90 minutes. Um, 86 strength and 84 aggression, which is nice. Um, all these players, uh, the past few players, attackers that I've been reviewing, are missing that strength and aggression, which is important, so you don't get pushed off the ball very easily. So we applied the sniper. We also applied the position change to uh, left mid to get that perfect uh, 10 cam. And let's see the stats now. He gets 91 attack positioning and 95 finishing, which is much needed on the shooting. The rest don't really matter. And he gets plus 10 in agility to 92. He gets 80 balance, uh, 86 reactions, 95 ball control, 99 dribbling, and 88 composure. So this already looks like a, a very nice card, especially with his boost with the Kim style. So we're going to go into two games. One in a game is going to be in a 4-2-3-1 formation. We're going to play him as a wide cam on the left side. And then the next game is going to be into a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow as we're going to play him as a second striker and see how this guy plays out. All right, so here we go with our first opponent. I got Dembele, Mane, and uh, Griezmann, the very fast attackers. We have Kante, Pogba in the middle, Varane, Lenglet, Walker, Mendy in the back. So a solid team. Um, let's see how this Bolasi performs and if he can help us with uh, a few goals to win this game. Man, this guy looks like a beast up there. Wow. Look how big he looks. <laughs> Where's that strength? How do you get pushed off the ball so easily? Come on. Let's make something happen. Come on. Come on. Yes. Run. Run. What? Oh my god, what was that dribble do? Come on. Oh my god, Velocity. All right, another stale first half for me. I don't know what's happening with this 4-2-3-1. As you can see, I have no chances. I got nothing in this game. I think Dybala 
is the guy that needs to get out of this team right away. All right, uh, there was a lot of involvement with Balassi, but kept losing the ball with him right away. Uh, two and three passes, two and ten dribbles. Uh, I mean, and it's probably not just me because as you can see, the rest of the players had uh, better stats in the dribble, um, like 80 and 90 accuracy, and only with Balassi on my failed attempts. So. Yes. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, Bolasi, get in the game. Come on. Come on. Let's do it, Bolasi. Let's do it. Yes. Pass it back. Oh. Yes. There we go, Bolasi. Finally. Get it, Bolasi. Get it. It doesn't matter, we get a 1-1 draw. Uh, the second half was way better than the first one, especially for Berlassi. He got a goal in that gave us uh, the cut of that draw. Um, he had one on one shot only. Four and seven passes, not very good. Six on 16 dribbles. It's very bad. As you can see, the rest of the players have a, a very good uh, dribble uh, ratio. And just Berlassi is not all that great. Um, and it's not that I was attempting all of them with him, as you can see, Guardiola or Tonali, um, even Politano has 12 and Morales has 12 attempts. So um, they're all in the same area. Uh, Dybala that I subbed up has 10 on 12. Uh, Bolasi was missing a few there, but like I always say, uh, it might be just me attempting too much with this player, especially in the first game. So let's go into a second game. This time we're going to play him as a striker. All right, so here we go with the second team. Another fast meta attack I would say um, here with how is that left wing back and left mid position okay I'm uh, kind of confused there but it looks like an all right team so let's see this time we, like I said we're gonna play in a 4-1-2 narrow 4-1-2-1-2 narrow with Bolasi up top uh, next to Morales still Bolasi is not in this place Yes. No. Come on. Guardiola, what was that touch there? Let's uh, refer to Velasco and see if he can win this header. Yes, he can, so that's nice. Although the chances are there, I'm, just, I'm again, once again behind. As you can see, everything works with me. I have six shots, uh, five on target, 57 possession, 83 shot accuracy, 94 pass accuracy, and yet I'm losing. So uh, <laughs> let's check out what's happening here. Bolassi, I'm, I'm not liking this guy. I think it's his work rates or something. I really don't like it. Um, well, the rest of the team is not playing that well as well. So what I want to do is go to instructions and put him on state central and see if that helps out a bit. too late there with taking the shot that's why he missed it I should have taken it earlier the keeper was out so we get lucky there and get a goal back and go 1-1 one, one. yes there we go finally and we get a penalty here There we go, it's a goal in. All right, so that was it for the second game. Uh, we get the win, but uh, 
Not a lot from Bolasi, I want to say. I was very excited about this card, his stats look great, but uh, I think it has to do something with his work rates. Obviously, he gets the 9.2 um, and the man of the match because of that second goal. Uh, he got in the penalty. I don't think he would have gotten that either way. Anyways, let's get back into this card and have a look if this card is worthwhile doing. All right, so here we are, uh, this Bolasi. I don't know, uh, two goals, three ga uh, two games, three goals, sorry. Um, he's tall, he's huge, his presence in the field is humongous. He has a four-star weak foot, he has a five-star skill moves. But I think uh, the, these work rates are not that great. Uh, he was sort of, you will see, I'm going to try to put as many off the ball movements on this player to see that he was mainly just standing somewhere in between the midfield. Uh, even when the attack, we were in a quick counter attack, he wasn't that fast to get um, in the area. Uh, he wasn't getting back, obviously, because of the low work rates. So, so I don't know. May, I, I'm thinking that the only thing that I didn't like in this card are the work rates, and that's why I had this uh, bad sense about this card. The stats look amazing. He looks uh, fantastic, like I said, and with the sniper that we applied. So for 30k, I don't know if this card is worth it because he's from a, a very hard nation to link, a very hard league to link as well. Um, it, it is a live card, but it's going to take more than two and a half months to get upgraded. So that really shouldn't be a factor when deciding if you want to do this card. Um, at this point, realistically, he can only be played mainly as a super sub. Or if you've done uh, one of the players from the Liga Nas SBC, like Bataglia, and maybe have Teyes, so maybe you can get some links there from the left side. Um, that's realistically the only way that you can get this guy in the team. So today, because we have two left wingers, uh, this and Guedes, and they are both at the same price, if you want to do one of uh, the two, um, if you don't have a particular reason to do one of the two and you just want to maybe do one of the two for like a super sub or have uh, fun with in the team, I would say go and do that Gonzalo Guedes. Um, I think it's a better card than this Bolasi. For me, he's not going to get in the team. I'm just going to keep him and maybe leave him in the club. And after three months, if uh, Sporting goes through and this becomes an 86, I will be happy that I did this card. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.